Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. I'm inspecting inspecting my plants here to see what we got today. And I'm about to give up on these peppers. It's been six days and nothing. And I had thought because I bought these seeds in town that they would just do gangbusters. The cayennes we planted before, everything else we planted before is doing pretty good. Tomatoes, some of them are getting ready, big enough for transplant. The birds have been after these, topped them all. We'll get a few of those in the ground, it looks like. It's like a little transplanting has been going on here with the marigolds. Those bell peppers, they've got me stumped. Uh, the only thing I can do now is just direct seed them, direct plant them, see if, see if that works or not. But one thing I did notice yesterday, and didn't take a video, but look at that. The corn has finally started to come up. On the second try, it started to come up. So we're going to have some table corn here in about three months if the dogs don't kill it all see they just came tearing through here and knocked this one down so that one that one's a, a no-go but the rest of it here seems to be doing okay and that's come up there well we'll get some corn out of it anyway at least happy for that. The okra continues to do well. And poor little bean plants. Those are cucumbers there, I think. They're kind of sort of doing okay. And more cucumbers on the other side of that pepper back in there. Beans. It's looking like beans are the only thing that has been planted in here that's come up. We got a couple rows of beans. None of the carrots. None of anything else that was planted in here. I should water this, but I don't know if he planted this. I don't even know if she watered the seeds in or not. Marcel had told her to plant it in pots up there on the bench, and it ended up getting planted here. That's kind of the thing with Ippy, just not following instructions. Marcel wasn't too pleased. And I, I spaced it today. I was going to come water this in, water these seeds in, but I forgot. There's water going into the pond right now, so I'm going to go down here. It's going to be the big reveal on the Azola to see if it survived. See whether or not we're going to have to screen it in or not. Ugh just walk through a spider web as usual. I'll go around the corner here. One thing, one positive, one real positive, is that these lemon cedo trees are just taking off and doing really well. In fact, we need to get in here and do a little bit of weeding. The squash, I don't know where this squash came from. I didn't think we had ever had any of the squash make and go to seed but obviously we did because there's squash plants everywhere back in here and I know we didn't plant any this year and the reason because I didn't I didn't think we had had any squash that went to seed is we've, har we've harvested one we've harvested one squash from all these plants because they get up to that size right there next to my boot and then they die so I never did think we'd gotten any that ever got big enough to go to seed. 
but obviously we did. There's squash everywhere right around in here. And there's another one right there. But they just don't make it. You're not helping, Bear Bear. I'm going through here trying to find a bigger one that might make it. There's another one there. And I'm almost, I can almost guarantee when I come through here next week and make another video that there won't be any big squash in here to see. Well, now I take it back. That one right there, that's like one of the, the bigger ones. That one might be here next week. I don't know. And these are delicious squash, too. They're kind of a... I don't know, to me they're a cross between an acorn squash and a pumpkin. They taste good. They've got kind of a yellowish-orange flesh to them. And they are delicious. Let me get around to that Azola going this way. Well, there it is. Hmm. I really can't tell if there's more or less in there than the last time. I know the color hasn't changed any. It's still that rusty brownish with a little bit of green mixed in. I don't know. It's got me stumped. I guess the only thing I could do is just cover it and try that. Other than that, the pond is doing really well. Maybe I'll just make like a little, a little pop-up net over the top of this, kind of look like a little pup tent maybe. Try that. I don't know. I'll walk through the gauntlet here. You're a moose, buddy. Yeah, you are. Well, the garden's kind of sort of coming on, coming along, the Azola not so much. I'm going to kick this right here a little bit. I'm going to have to kick it. Just use my hand to see what kind of moisture we've got down in there. See, that's not bad. I see right in there, it's not, it's damp. So yeah, the rice holes are really helping as a cover really helping. I'm sure that has a lot to do with why these limoncito trees are doing so much better than they were before. Some kind of worm is after this one. Where is he at? Sometimes I can come through here when I see these leaves like this and there will be a worm munching along or, or hanging because he's already made his, his little cocoon. I don't see this one. Like he's made his escape already. Little bugger. Well, alrighty then. Say goodnight, Nini. Say goodnight, Nini. You're a pretty cute little dog. Yes, you are. You're a pretty cute little dog. Yeah. I've been gone almost all day again, just ignoring you, yeah. You gonna smile for everybody, Nene, huh? You gonna give everybody a big smile? Yeah, you are. You give everyone a big smile, yeah.
<laughs> Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.